to run the data through the system that has now gone out of practice, in addition to actually running it through EPH for actual use in the Hugos. Nomination data. Yes, and you want it provided on the long list, correct? Okay. Does everybody understand what the resolution is? Yes. All right, all those in favor? Hi, Man Rosen. I understand that EPH changes what the long list can be, right? Yes. So, no, I, if we're asking to provide the data, you know, how the, the two results will be. They would basically take the base nominations and run them through both systems and present both sets of information. All right, we're going to vote on the underlying, on the resolution. All those in favor, please raise your hands. Hands down. All those opposed? All right, the ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The next year's Hugo administrators are requested to run both sets of mechanisms and report back the nominating data. Sorry, now we're going to get to A.6, which is 4 and 6 on page 8 of your agendas. We have 10 minutes of debate. Mr. Goldstein, for what purpose does the member rise? Come forward. I, no. Uh, R. Goldstein, I move to amend 4.6 to have the same clause that we put on EPH to, that have the, that it, can, it, is a, it is available for suspension uh, each year. Is there a second? Second. Do we need to debate this? No. no. All right. All those in favor of the amendment? A sunset date? Do we need to it's, it's the exact same clause except changing the word EPH for 4 and 6. <laughs> All those in favor, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? The ayes appear to have it. The ayes do have it. The motion is amended. Mr. Desjardins, as the maker of 4 and 6, would you like to give a speech in favor? Now that it's been Uh, Stephen Desjardins, I first have a parliamentary inquiry. Am I correct that if I were to move to amend uh, the section 3.71 to replace the number four with the number five and the meeting were to approve that amendment, that would be a lesser change? It is the opinion of the chair that yes, that would be a lesser change. I so move. Is uh, do you want to also change it further down? In, uh, yeah. Any rep I assume yes. Yes. It's yes. any references yes. to the number four yes. would be changed to yes. five. Reference, yes, references to the number of nominations. All right, Thank I you. heard a second. Is there any objection to objection. that? Objection. Yes. All right. Do we need to debate this? I mean, I, I, I think I hear a request. This. So, Mr. Desjardins, as the maker of the motion, please give an opening. All right. Uh, well, first, I would want to compare 5 and 6 to 5 and 5, the existing system. Under EPH, basically, the same five things that would have made the ballot under 5 and 5 will still make the ballot. We'll add one more. And in my quick review of the 2015 and 2016 data, about 75 to 80 percent of the time, what was added was a non-slate work. And the rest of the time, a slate work that got knocked off by EPH gets back on. And I think it is much more important to have a wide selection of non-slate works to choose from on the final ballot. Having something from the state get back on is not a, as big a deal. So I think this will be a substantial improvement over five and five. And compared to four and six, I think the four it hurts non-state voters more than it hurts state voters because they're going to get one of their nominations knocked off anyway. They're going to go down, go down to four, whereas the non-state voters who aren't as organized, it just dilutes our voting power a little bit. And if you look at the simulations they ran on pages 20 to 23, looking at EPH+, I think you'll find that that supports that. 
The other point I'd like to make is that it's a lesser change from the current, current system. I mean, the nomination process stays the same as far as the nominators are concerned. I think that is a benefit. And finally, I think we also have to consider the case where this whole rabbit puppy thing goes away and is this a good change on its own merits in the regular order of things? And I think that it is. I think the field is get, it's getting diverse, getting diverse stylistically, geographically, in terms of subgenres. And I think modestly expanding the number of works we put on the ballot will be good for everyone. I understand that there are people who disagree with that and that is a perfectly valid reason for voting against this amendment, I acknowledge that. I don't think debate will change that. I just want to make that point. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Don, for what purpose does the member rise? And arguments? It, we'll okay. A question, a point of information. Yes, come to the microphone. Cliff Dunn. Cliff Dunn. How many, I just have to ask, how many people actually use all five nominations versus four? That's not, no. That's not in order. The point of information is for to learn. The point of information is to get clarity on what the motion does. This is not, not a question on what the motion does. Mr. Goldstein. I don't know. Kate, Kate Lisa. All right, Goldstein again. Um, so the one thing was mentioned is that this doesn't significantly change the current procedure given that we just passed EPH is current procedure going to be uh, determined as what we did this year or what EPA or, or EPH given that we just changed what the procedure is uh, the real question is whether it's a large rate or a smaller change yeah basically right. it is it's a smaller, smaller change, change smaller because smaller it change. strikes three right. changes from Absolutely. the Constitution yeah the change in the Constitution was to go from five to four. If we get rid of that change, it is therefore a lesser change. Okay, thanks. Ms. Hayes, we were looking to gain the floor, or speech against. For the record, um, uh, all of the time in favor of the amendment has expired, but you have time. Go ahead. I wish to point out to this body that the previous Worldcon spent a business meeting, spent an inordinate amount of time picking specific numbers. I feel any change is a greater change. Therefore, that body passed this on to us after very great deliberation. We should consider that there was a lot of deliberation on those numbers, and those are the numbers we should yay, say yay or nay on. Yep. Mr. Cronenthal, for what purpose does the member rise? There's less than... There's a minute and a half on the hands. Okay. There's, there's a motion that's been seconded, I believe. Um, this is just a question on the amendment that we passed, and we referred to the previous amendment. Um, does that also mean that this would expire in 2022, if not ratified then? Yes. 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 Okay, thank you. Our, yes, Ms. Park, can you? Sorry. Um, ah! Oh, the wording, Kate Park, the wording on the last sentence of 3.7.1 states four equally weighted nominations. Uh, is that required to be changed? No. And if so, is that a lesser or a greater change? It's already been. All the references to four would change to five. I am asking for a change, whether a change is needed for equally weighted no. in the light of EPH. No. 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 Sorry. That would have been changed by EPH. This is, could stand as an independent change to the Constitution. <laughs> yes. Come to the mic. Please, everybody, if you can, come to the lectern. 